we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world really works. And it's definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. I told you at the beginning of the year, in the first quarter of 2022, we was going to have an event that was going to bring us down. And then also in the fourth quarter, we would have an event that would bring us down. That's exactly what happened. And now I'm going to tell you, in the first quarter, we're going to have an event that's going to bring us down in 2023. And then also in the fourth quarter of 2023, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, guys, the markets are still going to be pumping and dumping until they get ready to pull the full rug. But I'll let you know when that's about to happen. Now, also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to get re-educated. And also, much love to those who've donated to the Cash Shop and Patreon. And in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events. Also, I give you the New Road Order cryptos in the Patreon. Of course, you have to do your own research. But this next bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure that you have the cryptos that have utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we have Bitcoin and crypto slightly up. We have the stock market pulling back. Since the FTX demise, we have Hobie Token has been pumping and also Dogecoin. Now, guys, we have DeFi Lender Compound to set borrowing caps on 10 crypto collateral assets. And, guys, as we see liquidity is shrinking, we see these projects and exchanges getting ready for the bear market. It is definitely going to get painful. Now, guys, don't forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which are slowly rising, but they have plunged from the highs. Don't forget that. So just imagine if these yield rates were at as high as the stock market is still pulling back, even though yield rates have been pushed down. We have the dollar slightly down. We have volume. We have tether and we have USDC. And then we have the Fed. Repo still over $2 trillion. They're going to be raising rates December 14th. So we know we're going to receive another leg down. And again, guys, we know they like to price it in. And we have Ukraine considering a CBDC that can facilitate crypto trading. And guys, you know, I did several videos on Ukraine. They were already getting prepared for this new digital economy. Do not allow the distractions to get you off of the fourth industrial revolution. And there's a lot of distractions set up, so therefore they can build. We know Trump is back. 
We have Kanye, and then also we have Elon Musk on Twitter. And then on top of it, we have war. Then we have an energy crisis, water crisis, food crisis, supply chain issues. But we see in the fourth industrial revolution, we see all the NWO fixes. So what do they do? They cause a problem, they wait for the reaction, and they run in with a solution. And believe me, you do not want their solution. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have Grayscale down to about 14.4 billion. Now getting over into a little crypto news, we have BlockFi sue Sam Bankman freed over shares in Robinhood. And I went over FTX investment in Robinhood in a couple of videos, but they bought 56 million shares at the time it was worth over 400 and $82 million. So the bank man definitely has assets. Now we have Dominica works with Hobie for digital identity program. And guys, this is just a small Caribbean island. And I don't care whether you go to these small islands or big countries. All of them have the digital transformation set up. Remember the goal is tokenization and everything on blockchain because blockchain gives the NWO the all CNI total control over the globe. Yes, it sounds like a movie, but remember, your life is an illusion and TV is your reality. Now we have blockchain-based fintech company prepares to enter 500 billion freight settlement market. And guys, we see the real use cases and we know the supply chain is being disrupted, so therefore it can be tokenized and put on blockchain. Now we have Kraken settles with U.S. Treasury OFAC for violating U.S. sanctions. And we know one of the partners of the Rothschild Fund is invested heavily in Kraken. Now we have Aptos Labs. And you know Andreessen, my guy, is invested. Partners with MoonPay for Petra Wallet integration. And guys, we know that's all about adoption. And lastly, we have the U.S. House Committee sets the date for FTX hearing. So December 13th. So guys, we have the Senate starting a movie on the 1st, and then the House is December 13th. So we're going to have plenty of entertainment for the holidays. But remember, while the masses are being entertained, the NWO is building. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows, when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, if new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Stock Channel, guys, don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chips out, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, got home stocks, the zero, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture, we have to re-educate, but let's get into the video. Part 1, King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2, 
King Nation and Drama Team Say New York Long COVID 33 Part 3 King Yashua and Drama Team Goes to China It's mandatory to get part 1, part 2, and part 3 of this series It's time to re-educate Generation Z